My broken free NAS, or I guess I should say true NAS, my network attached storage computer, which has a 32 terabyte storage array, stopped working a couple weeks ago, so I brought it to my work table to disassemble it, and oh my gosh, was it full of dust. Apparently I should clean out the dust more often, but I was able to take some time to do that along with the troubleshooting. Upon boot, it gave me a message saying this is a free NAS data disk and cannot boot the system, which likely meant that my free NAS operating system drive had failed. Apart from the four 8 terabyte hard drives in this system, there's one 120 gigabyte Corsair MP500 SSD that was set up as a cache, and an Intel Optane 32 gigabyte SSD that was the operating system drive, and long story short, that drive failed, even though Optane drives are supposed to be super durable and everything. I did some swapping between the motherboard's native M.2 slot and the AlphaCool PCI Express M.2 riser I was using, but after figuring out that the Optane drive was dead, I removed it and then switched over to just using the Corsair MP500 as my boot drive now, mainly so I can get this system back up and running with the plans to build a new NAS at some point later this year. So from there I just made a new TrueNAS installer USB by downloading their software as well as Belena Etcher. After booting off of that USB I was able to reinstall TrueNAS on the MP500. That went smoothly so after reconnecting the NAS to my network and booting it up I was able to use the web login to go back in and recover the storage pool. The storage pool was still there on my hard drive so it was able to recognize that. After that I just had to set up the SMB shares one more time, redo my permissions, and then my free NAS reappeared on my network and all the data in my drive pools was still there. I had all that stuff backed up of course anyway, but I am glad that this system is now back in its home and that is how I fixed